back to my channel today. I thought it would be fun that I did a second cross country race story time because they're all different. Now, I don't remember this one as well as I remembered my first cross country race story time or yeah, cross country race. And so, yeah, it's going in, it might be a little shorter, but I, you guys might be, have noticed that I am not posting as much and We'll explain that in a minute but before we get started on with today's video please go check out i haven't done shout outs in a long a while so yeah what shall we call you you guys are my youtube family so if you want to become part of my youtube family please hit that subscribe button turn on notifications and give this video a big, video a big thumbs up go over to cat versus paper and comment hashtag shout out if you want a shout out in one of my future videos but today's shoutouts are to Logan's Cooking and Crafting, B, letter B, the best. Y'all have seen me do this before, it's not a surprise. Logan and Barley are my, like, best friends. And then Kennedy Rose Crocker is a friend of mine from Cross Country. So please go check them out. If you want a shout out, go comment hashtag shoutout on Cat vs. Paper. I mostly check that one, though. Sometimes I do check all of them, it's just more frequently checking the cat versus paper so you can comment hashtag shout out as many times as you want okay so yeah and what was i saying oh the reason i haven't been posting as much is because my dad i post on my dad's phone and he's been out of town and all that and we went away for the weekend to our grandparents so, it's been a busy week. Um, I don't know if he's going out of town this week, so I don't know when y'all will see this. But yeah, today is my sibling's second cross-country race. Kind of jealous. But I wanted to have one, but like, we've got one this upcoming Saturday, so maybe I'll film some of that. And yeah. But, okay, let's get on to this video. Longest. Okay, so, we... Okay, so I filmed a video, I think, of me getting ready for the race. So, I we got there. It was kind of nutso. And we go up to the bathroom because we don't know the next time we'll be able to go. And so we're on our way back, and I see a bunch of the little cougars starting off running. And I'm like, oh, it's different. And then I get to the tent, and I'm just standing there. And our old coach and our... And our old cross country coach for the little cougars and the new coach are standing there handing out tags and everything and yeah so then she's like you need to go warm up and so I go warm up and with my friend uh, I've said her name before on here Chloe so we do we warm up and then we go back to the tent um, I at the time was not wearing lace up shoes I was just wearing the light on ones uh, I was just thinking one of my shoes okay uh, that's off the point so yeah I was wearing lace up shoes and what was I saying oh my goodness so the things they go on your shoe and they tie them with your laces so we were pinning them on with safety pins that are this long and the card is like that one it was difficult we barely got them to stay and then we were pinning on our things and mine was like crooked it was like this way but that you, you can never trust me to do that okay i i can't make it straight and yeah so yeah we got those on and then coach is like okay your race starts in 30 minutes you need to warm up and i'm thinking in my head i already warmed up but okay can't hurt to do it anymore so we go up the hill we go up this like side court in the road up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down like five times and yeah and then we go we get to the tent and coach we have to wait for like a minute because we lost somebody <laughs> not a surprise that we lost somebody it was part of the little cougars i think they thought they were in in something different so yeah and they go and they do and we find them and then we head over to the start line and we're just like kind of like I was stretching my legs and then I asked coach where our where we were going on our course and 
Um, she kind of showed us the overall course, which I've been to this course before, I, but I didn't know if we were doing it forwards or backwards. There are two different ways. I much prefer the backwards versus the forwards, but we did it forwards. And yeah, so it's just the same course. It's just you have less hills to run up than you do. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, so we went up the, we were on the finish start line, and we, this guy comes out in the middle, and he's like, we're going to start in just a minute, so we pray, and um, everything, and then my friends are over on the side, screaming at the top of their lungs, yes, I know you're watching this, I'm not going to say your name, because I don't exactly have permission, but... Um, they're sitting there screaming at the top of their lungs, uh, cheering us on. They're not, like, doing it to be mean. Um, I have to admit, kind of gave me a headache. But, like, the whole race gave me a headache. And, yeah, so they're sitting there cheering me on, or cheering us on. Like, we haven't even started yet. And then the girl's like, I've watched your YouTube videos! You can do this! And I very much appreciate it. And so we start, and it's we. I instantly fell in the back. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm pretty bad at cross country. So yeah, and then we. There's a girl behind me, and this boy. Oh my goodness! I could have punched him into next month. I am not joking. He is like she. He's in the back with her, and he's like, and she has to walk for a minute. And he's like, you're so slow. You're terrible at this. And she instantly starts bursting into tears. And I'm like, why did you just do that? I mean, guys, don't ever do that. It's mean. And it very much can discourage someone. And I know that's the intent of it. But imagine if someone did that to you. Would you like it? No, you would not. So I catch up. Or I fall behind a little to catch up with her. But, like, it's okay. And I'm like, it's okay, he, he's just there in the back with us, he's just trying to be mean, he's just trying to discourage you, and in the end, she did not finish the race, but I am so glad she tried, and so we, the, within the first, like, mile, I had to walk, not gonna lie, okay, I'm not good at cross country, I'm good at track, okay, um, so yeah, and then we, I don't remember much. There was a ton of mud. We were running through a lot of mud. And we get into the woods and I have to walk. And this girl behind me walks too. And I turn around and go, cramps. She's like, yeah, my leg hurts. And she was the nicest person besides, outside of our team that I had seen all day at that race. It was she was so nice. We literally got in such a deep conversation about how people shouldn't be mean to each other, how people shouldn't, like, bully each other at, on these races. And she did amazing. And we're going up this hill, and I'm like, okay, I'm going to walk up the hill because I don't want to sprain my ankle. She, and she's like, that's a good idea. So we walk up the hill, and then we start running, and then we get to another hill, and I'm like, I'm walking down this. And she continues to run. She slipped a little, but she made it. Because I didn't want to take a risk of hurting myself and not being able to finish the race. And um, she's like, as long as I don't walk past any of my teammates, I'll be fine. You know, I told them I couldn't do this and they still made me do it. And I'm like, it's okay. I walk every single race, you know. It's fine. And she's like, you know, you're really nice. You're the nicest person I know here. I'm like, oh, thanks. <laughs> And this has actually happened twice to me, what I'm about to tell you. She was like, so what school are you from? And I'm like, oh, I'm from homeschool. Or I'm from the Carolina Homeschool Cougars. You're homeschooled? I never would have thought that you were homeschooled based on how nice you were to me. And I'm not going to lie. Normally, it's the other way around for me. Like, they're all, all public schoolers are always being mean, but it's always different. And so she must have had, like, a bad encounter with a homeschooler. But I was kind of surprised that she was surprised that I was a homeschooler and being so nice to her um but yeah and because I don't I'm not rude to people when they run like it just discourages them it discourages me when I see someone else doing it and yeah 
so we get to the last 400 meters and this person's like 400 meters left i'm gonna get like yes my favorite part of the race yes 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 so it's like we go up this hill it's a pretty steep hill and she one of her teammates is like sprint 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 and i'm like i'm trying to catch up with her and she's so fast she was so good i have totally lost my sprint we don't really do them at practice and if we do i'm not there so yeah and then she's like she was sprinting and sprinting and i finally passed her and i'm like good luck good luck and she she never responded and i understand that because like you're out of breath you're trying to win you're trying to finish this race and uh i sprint down the finish line and i see some of my teammates like walking up the last stretch which is fine you know and she's being really nice to another girl and i'm like oh she's so nice and so i go up the hill and then my old coach is sitting there screaming at the top of his lungs sprint sprint I'm sprinting and he's like I'm telling you the people watch <laughs> and it was so funny and so I go past the line I looked dead I am not kidding I looked so dead and I finished at I don't even know my time they didn't I haven't gotten it but I finished and then <laughs> coach comes over and he's like good job you did an amazing job and then um, I get, I got like four glasses of Gatorade and water because they only fill it halfway. And I understand that some people like won't finish it. So that's like understandable, but you could make like a table with full ones and then a table with like half full, you know? So yeah, and I finish that and then I go over and then I see my friend. I'm like, Chloe's coming, Chloe's coming. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to see her finish. I'm going to go over to the tent and return my chip, which is, like, something that times your health by, or your time, which I never got back. And so we, I re watched her finish. She did amazing. And um, I walk over to the tent, and my friend is sitting there saying, good job, good job. And she's like, um, I don't remember how the this conver next conversation started and she's like yeah and you called her miss m you know miss m from like the first one the first story time and she's like what so we get in a be deep conversation on why i called her miss m and i'm like because i didn't have your permission permission to say your name and i would never say your name without your permission so i had to give you another name <laughs> um so yeah and that was super funny. And then we go up and catch up with Chloe and Kennedy. And uh, what did we do next? Then we got in the van and we left. Actually, I kind of wish I went back to the tent to wish everybody else good luck because they were running after us, but we had to leave. And so, but they were already gone by the time I got there. I heard. I asked them how it went at practice, but I didn't get much of a reply, so I'm not going to read today's practice. Today is Monday's practice. I'm not going to be there because uh, we're going to the Little Cougars race. Which, the Little Cougars race? I really need to do a story time on. That was super fun. There was this girl. Okay, I'll save it for the next time, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, turn on notifications, and hit that subscribe button. Also... Comment hashtag shout out on cat versus paper for a shout out for a possibility of a shout out in my next video. Alright, till next time. Bye. <laughs>